So the future of Ontario's food terminal, it has been a hot topic for quite some time. You may remember back in May, we did a BT investigation about what the future may look like. Farmers and growers expressing some concern. Meanwhile, the provincial government has been looking into all the potential options for that current location, and it'll have a number of implications as well. So joining me now to talk about this is the Minister of Agriculture, Ernie Hardman. Thank you so much for coming in yeah. this morning. It's great to be here. So we did this story back in May, and at that point, there was a review uh, done an external review to say, do we sell the land? Do we potentially revitalize, modernize what it currently looks like? Because it's been there for some time. Uh, and the big concern for a lot of people would be, if it moves, yeah. it's going to cost more for food prices. Your announcement today that you're making here on BT is? Well, I, I think it's very important to recognize where we started from. When we did the review, the direction for the review, we have an internal panel looking at it and we have a, a consultant looking at it. Mm -hmm. the, the review was not what we're going to do with the property. The review was about how are we going to deal with the future of the food terminal. Mm -hmm. It's the most important part of getting our food from the field farm gate to the dinner plate. And obviously we want to make sure that it keeps up with the advancement in, in agriculture. Yes. Last Saturday I went to a, to a, a farm in my riding, uh, Denbor um, Produce, who um, sells all their produce at the food terminal. And they, were, they had an open house because they had completely modernized their operation. It's a great example of what's happening on the farm. We want to make sure that our marketing system keeps pace with that. So we're reviewing not, not only um, where it was, but how it operates to make sure that we're moving forward with it. So 10 years from now, 50 years from now, mm -hmm. it's the right place doing the right thing to make sure we get the best service for the people of Ontario. Is it in the right place, which we're seeing in Etobicoke right now? Is the food terminal going anywhere? Well, I think that's the, that was the most important part of, this, uh, of the review so far. The review is not finished yet. We're still looking at what more we can do to make the, uh, uh, to make the food terminal work better. But everything we heard tells us that the, the, the location of the food terminal today is an important part of what, what makes it so successful. So we're here to say today that we're going to be leaving it there and we're going to be working on modernizing it, putting better equipment in it and, and uh, more t technology in it and, and particularly the farmer's market mm -hmm. is, um, hasn't been updated for many years. That's also the reason that we have to start looking or we did start looking at is it the right place? Sure. If you're going to rebuild, mm -hmm. you want to make sure for the future, you want to make sure that you're rebuilding okay for the future <laughs> so this is good news for a lot of those who were concerned about location about it changing about transportation costs and uh, that that not being transferred on to the end user which is of course the consumer so that's good news what does the long-term future look like then you talked about uh, about modernization some of the technical things um, what do you foresee what is the goal well I think that really um, how we're going to develop it is is in the hands of a very capable board of directors for the food terminal uh, the study that we were doing was to make sure that whatever we did uh, was going to be for the future. And when we started that, and as you mentioned, uh, the concern of, about moving uh, was pretty strong in the area where it's presently located, not just by the people who live there, the people who work there, but all the consumers who run um, the restaurants and the, and the grocery stores who Absolutely. need that terminal close at hand. So that was the decision we make. I expect the, the board of directors now uh, when they have the assurances it's going to stay there, we'll be developing a, a strategic plan for the terminals, what we need to do to go forward. Yes. And hopefully we'll have some more comments on that as uh, we're making the announcement later on this morning at the food terminal as to where we're going from Part here. two of the announcement, part, part one made here. What a lot of people aren't um, necessarily informed about is that the food terminal provides to a lot of the restaurants in the area, so that could have affected uh, some pricing as well. So that is good news. The food terminal is staying put where it is. We're expecting a 9.30 announcement with now next steps. Yeah, yes. yeah exactly. Okay. Great. And yes, and, and like I say, the food terminal board of directors will be working on that. And I want to say that the uh, uh, thanks to the community for the input that they gave us and thanks to the member of that area, mm -hmm. uh, Christine Hogarth, for doing a great job in telling the minister what needed to be done. Okay. Thank you so much, Minister. <laughs> well, I appreciate you. your time Thank this you morning. Thank you very much. Great to be here. And we'll have more information uh, coming up, citynews.ca, on that 930 announcement, the future of the food terminal, which is physically staying put. Physically in the air, we're going over to the chopper. Jordan with traffic.